shortcuts, tags, save and searches, stacks, notebooks. For a long, long time, I ran my productivity system on that space, the shortcuts space on the side. Bar. When I first saw a presentation of Evernote Home, I thought to myself, wow, this is beautiful. But then I couldn't see how different it was compared to the shortcuts area, the space where the shortcuts live in the sidebar. At that time, the filtered notes widget didn't exist. And at this point, you already know that I love the filtered notes widget. And in my opinion, that's the widget that changed everything. If you watch all the videos I have in the Evernote home playlist here in YouTube in order, you see how I've been changing my widgets since day zero. And I didn't record everything. I changed it all the time. For example, the minute I published my last video about Evernote home, I thought I can make this with widget even better. If you watch the other video, you remember that I have it set to show only notes from the YouTube notebook to prevent it to show notes from the client's notebook. But, and if I want something else there that is not YouTube and it's not clients, it's so easy to fix. Instead of YouTube notebook, I can use the minus notebook column clients. So it's not going to show anything from that notebook. If you haven't yet, please set some time to learn the advanced search syntax. It's so powerful. And talking about learning, I'm not sure you already noticed, but all of my content here in YouTube is organized by playlists. You can also go to my website, flatcampuseu slash playlists to find all the playlists. Back to shortcuts versus hum. <laughs> As a heavy user of shortcuts, it took me a while, several months, to come up with a system to help me define what is best as a widget and what is best as a shortcut. Here's what I came up with. I need it or check it more than I do with the average of other notes but I don't need it, I don't check it, I don't use it all the time, and it doesn't change all the time. It's not that dynamic. It can be a stack, notebook, save it, search, whatever it is, if it meets this criteria, it will be set as a shortcut. Let's use my travel notebook as an example. I travel a lot, but definitely I don't travel every day. Also, the information there can change, I can add new information, but it doesn't change all the time. And finally, I need it more than other notes, but I don't need it all the time. I will only need it when I'm traveling. So it doesn't make sense to keep it as a widget. It will be a distraction and it will use space. I'm not sure you remember it, but we can only have 12 widgets on Evernote Home. Yes, I said only. 12 is not a lot. I need more. <laughs> and talking about needing it when I'm traveling, I invite you to watch the video where I'm testing the use of the calendar for my trips. You'll find the link below. I check it or need it every day, sometimes more than once a day, and it's dynamic content. The best place to keep it is on Evernote Home. It's accessible. Now let's try my system with my clients and with the videos I produce here for you too. In both cases, I'm constantly writing something, checking information, doing something with the notes. If I have all this information right in front of me on Evernote Home, I'll be more productive. Now, watch this other videos to learn how my system works on Evernote Home and how it's evolving. See you soon.